Hey guys, I am here showing off how to make a fairly simple black hole effect. Uh, especially the effect where it looks like the light is bending around it. I found that extremely difficult to figure out. Uh, the effect is actually fairly simple though. Uh, it I, I made it with two sphere models, one inside the other and by creating just two very simple materials. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to a separate folder and I'm going to start with the inner material. The inner material and the outer material are actually very very similar. They both use pretty much the same exact nodes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and type in Fresnel. If I can learn how to spell. Bring that in. And I'm going to get a constant. So if I hold the one key and then left click, you'll bring in a constant. And then I'm going to drag that into the exponent in. And I'm going to set the value of that over here to the left to 2.5. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and invert it. And to do that, uh, I hold the O key and then press left click on that. Sorry about that notification. Now a good way to remember this, at least for me, is to remember opposite and then it'll flip it when you plug that in. Now I'm going to take the result of the inverse, the 1 minus x, and I'm going to plug that into a power node. And take it to the power of 10 over here. Now what, that, what that's going to do is, if I start previewing this node, it's going to make the edges softer here. So this is essentially taking what the Fresnel node does and making the edges really visible. And this is inverting that and making the center. Okay. So I'm going to stop previewing that. And I'm going to multiply this by 2. Just to make sure that the color, uh, that the light comes out well and then I am going to plug that into opacity. Now it's not highlighted right now because I haven't set the material blend mode to translucent so I'm going to do that now. And if you scroll down I'm going to set it to unlit because this material will never need to be lit. Now I'm going to drag that over here just to keep it a bit cleaner and closer to the result. Now you'll notice over here that it is indeed working and it does have a fuzzy effect. Now what I did, just because I thought it looked too uniform on the edges, is I pulled in a texture sample and that texture sample I used was just a normal map for the black hole. And then I took that, flattened it, so it didn't have nearly as much of an effect. And I brought out a constant and set it to a value of like 0.876. And then I take, took the result of the flattened normal and I plugged that into the base reflect fraction in of the Fresnel node. Now what that's done, once this is done compiling, is it has just added a normal map to the Fresnel so the edges are a bit less smooth. And I just thought that looked a bit nicer. Now I'm going to go ahead and click apply to that. And since the outer part is nearly identical, I'm just going to duplicate the inner material. and open that one up. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the opacity here, OK? 
because I'm not going to need that link. And I'm also going to get rid of the texture entirely so I can just delete the texture sample flat normal with the constant there. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drag this down over here. And I'm going to take the result of the multiply and I'm going to lerp it. So if you press L and left click it brings out a lerp node. It's a weird word. It stands for linear interpret inter sorry. Uh, linear interpolate. It's weird. Uh, and so I'm going to set the values in here from constant A to 1 and constant B to 0 and use the multiply as the alpha and then plug that into the refraction node. Now that basically does all the work for the outer part. However, once it's done compiling you won't be able to see it. That's just because we haven't added an opacity yet. So right now it's it would show up completely black so I'm just going to quickly add one right here which means that it's going to be a completely transparent object. You won't be able to see through it at all. All it's going to do is show refraction. So once it's done loading you won't be able to see it anymore. <laughs> done compiling. Uh, just to make sure it's working I'm going to set the lighting type to reflections and you can see that it's distorting the area around it. So I'm going to hit apply and then that material is done. So I'm going to quickly apply it to the mesh which if you remember was just two different sphere spheres one inside of the other. Okay, outer material and then inner material and then you can see that the effect is indeed working. I hope that tutorial was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed and goodbye.